Link to the code and assets are in the description. I will start by covering the two main components that make your Pokemon follow you. After going through that, I'll go through how to extend the code to make them run away from you. The first step is to add a navigation region. Assuming you already have your map, you just need to create a navigation region and put your map in it. Create a baked navigation mesh. If your map is made up of many parts like this, there might be regions that are broken. If the player moves into this region, your Pokemon will not follow the player. To fix them, make sure your map edges are connected before baking a new navigation mesh. Next, you'll need to create a 3D navigation agent in your Pokemon node. In the code, define a navigation agent variable, which references the newly created node. Add an export variable that will reference the player on the map. Since we want the Pokemon to keep following the player, we will need to update the movement target every frame. If the Pokemon has reached the target, it should stop moving. If there exists a point in the navigation path, the Pokemon will keep moving toward it. To determine the speed, we will compute the velocity based on the next position and the current position, normalized by movement speed. Once the velocity is computed, we know which direction the Pokemon is moving, so we can update the animation. If X velocity is positive, the Pokemon is moving towards the right, negative is moving towards the left. If Z is positive, it's moving toward the camera. Negative is moving away. The order of the if condition matters. I'm prioritizing forward and backward animation here, so I'll place these conditions at the end. The final condition that is true will overwrite the animation in the earlier conditions. While testing things out, enable debugging mode to see the generated path. If your Pokemon is floating, the navigation mesh was probably generated above the actual map mesh. To fix this, you can change the agent height offset. You can also use this to create the illusion of a flying Pokemon. With Navigation Mesh and Agent, your Pokemon should be following you without issues. If we want to make the Pokemon run away from the player, we need another set of nodes. Add an Area 3D node and create a Sphere Collision Shape. Create a signal to detect if a player is within the Pokemon range. When the player comes into range, we want the Pokemon to move in the opposite direction. To calculate this, we need the radius and the center coordinate. The center of the detection range is the monster's current position, while the radius is referenced from the sphere collision shape. Finally, we pass in the player's current X and Z coordinates, and use this to find the coordinate on the opposite end. This will make the wild Pokemon run away from the player. If you like to learn more about how I made this HD2D scene, you might find this video useful.